Timor-Leste became an independent country in 2002. The average age is 17, with a population of 1.3 million. The Seventh-day Adventist Church in Timor-Leste recognized that about 40% of the people are illiterate and decided that education was a way they could help their community. Here in Timor-Leste, our major center of influence is the Timor Adventist International School. The International School provides for the children an opportunity for a future and for a future development of their country. So Timor Adventist International School will provide the discipline, the education, Christian values and Bible-based education. This educational facility is serving hundreds of students and families who are eager to receive a quality education. When this school was first established in 2015, it primarily attracted Adventist students who were facing strict requirements from the public schools to be in class on Saturdays. Now, Timor Adventist International School, or TAIS, is known throughout the country to offer something different. The teachers, with the lessons that they are preparing, that they will not only concentrate on what the book, uh, what the book say, the lessons like that, but we need to make sure that in every lesson we can integrate the, the lesson of faith. In, in the activities that they do. And that's what most of the parents really appreciate and that's the difference that they see in this school. It's really the purpose why we, we exist, why we are here in Timor-Leste, that we want uh, the people here to know more about uh, Jesus, more about God through our uh, education. Due to limited space a few years ago, the school could only fit a maximum of 20 students. Thanks to your 13 Sabbath offerings in 2015, they constructed additional classroom buildings, opening the door for more students to come to the school, enough for 160 students. I'm choosing this school because I'm feeling like this school is at the first time entering this area. I feel like so refreshing, especially looking at the environment and the people here, especially looking at those plants and looking at those birds. I feel like, wow, this school is really like a beautiful place for kids to enroll, to study here, to get a good education. Why I chose this school? Because this school starting the uh, Bibica Foundation because for me as parents by Bibica Foundation that they will growing well to be, to be have a good character to be like God. The school has helped the Adventist Church gain credibility in Timor-Leste that could open the door to new methods of ministry here. Through the school or the CUI in here the government more recognize our existence of this, uh, uh, this Adventist in, in this country. That not, never happened before, but through this COI and the many government, even this, in the education, in the health, and other things, because they know us, we have presence here because through this uh, school. This quarter, you have the opportunity to support this school once again. They need a dormitory to house students who come from far away. This will give them a safe place to stay and make it easy to get to their classes. It will make Adventist education accessible to more kids in Timor-Leste. Please give to this quarter's 13th Sabbath offering and pray for the teachers and students here. Thank you for your support. Nung was determined to learn English. So when an Adventist English language center opened in her town in northern Laos, she jumped on the opportunity. She took this very seriously and came up with a goal to learn 100 new vocabulary words per day. Nung didn't have a background in English, but through hard work, she quickly began to understand the language. She faithfully attended classes and practiced with native English speakers until she became fluent. Speaking English made it possible for her to go to an Adventist university in Thailand. She's currently enrolled in Asia Pacific International University's Education and Psychology programs 
and she hopes to use her new skills back home in Laos. The local Adventist English Language Center didn't only offer her the chance to learn English, it also provided a chance to learn about Jesus. Nung and her mother were among the first to join the center's weekly Sabbath worship services. At first, only seven people gathered in a small home. Today, that number has grown to more than a hundred people every week. Like many others, Nung and her mother gave their hearts to Jesus. In 2018, a portion of the 13 Sabbath offering helped expand this English language center. It has been a blessing to dozens of students like Nun who have been able to explore new opportunities. Now you have the chance to contribute to another special school in Laos through this quarter's 13 Sabbath offering. Part of Laos has been very difficult for Adventists to reach. In 1957, Pastor Dick Hall and his wife and children came to the city of Luang Namtha to introduce Jesus to the Lao people. He worked for four years before they were forced to evacuate due to war. They left behind a handful of new believers who were still young in their faith. Today, there is only one Adventist left in this city. Luang Namtha has become a strategic location as Lao's northern gateway to China. An Adventist presence can help the community grow as the city expands. The Lao Adventist Mission plans to build a bilingual primary school here. With your contribution to the 13th Sabbath offering, they hope a new school can become an integral part of this community. Please support the work in this part of the world by contributing this quarter. Thank you for giving to the 13th Sabbath offering.